Hey, Bud Royce here from BRL Guitar Works, just hanging out in the workshop right now. Uh, just finished working on a comparison TAT or TAT special for Metal Marlin on the forum. Yes, Marlin, this is your guitar. Actually, that's your guitar right there. All that, that's all yours. Just all this, everything on this little piece of paper. Um, it is the model that everyone is, is drooling over, but seeing that there's so few around, I figured I might as well do a video just for you, Marlin. This is for you. So, here we go. So that there is the 2009 TAT Special. Marlin, that is all yours. Um, for those of you who, have, who don't know what this model is, basically this is a the new, US, the new special version of the regular TAT. Um, 25 and a half inch scale like, like a regular TAT. But if you notice, it's actually got 27 frets like a horse. And it's got it's got this pickup the pickup layout like a horse actually. Uh, what this actually is is basically a little hybrid between a a horse and a tat and a little bit of an angelus toss in there somewhere for that maple top there. Um, this figure this model was actually a a concept Atari actually had for about about the last 10 years actually. This was actually one of those models that was supposed to come up back way, way back in the late 90s and it was just, it was just never done until uh, recently. But, um, just a quick rundown on the base, the standard features of the guitar. Um, SH27 uh, neck pickup, PHR in the bridge, a single 500k pot volume, three-way switch to go from neck, middle, and bridge. However, the middle position here is very quite in, very interesting because if you noticed over here, this is not a regular tone pot. This is actually a four-way rotary switch, and what that does is that on position one, right at the bottom, here, you actually get the neck pickup split. So in the middle position, this switch is actually connected directly to that middle position. So what happens is that you'd have your neck, your bridge, and somewhere in the middle, you just figure what kind of tone you want. Here, you would basically in the middle position, you'd have the neck split. Position two over here on the on the rotary knob, you basically get the bridge split. Position three on the rotary knob in that middle position here, you basically get two split inside coils, kind of like an, an, IBM, an Ibanez JPM, and rotary four. That's like a standard Les Paul both humbuckers on kind of tone. So it comes down to what kind of sound you really want. Because if you want, if you wanted that, if you want a nice clean sound, kind of like an Ibanez JPM, or just listen to any of the John Petrucci stuff where he uses uses the, his guitars live for that his clean tones. When you get the two middle. Little, little coils. It's actually very scoop sounding, so it, it's got a very acoustic like texture on there. And of course, the split coils. You know, if you're one of those guys that likes that single coil tone every once in a while, it's good for that. Um, other things on there: ebony fretboard, bound uh, white, white binding, um, clock inlays, just like a Horus and a Tat and all that other fa fancy stuff. Nothing too fancy up over here. Just the Standard headstock logo that's just through and through, meaning you know basically T A T if you didn't know, or or TAT stands for through and through. Um, it is completely neck through, as you can probably see. It's kind of hard to see over here, but maybe there we go. There's a better angle. You can see the um, the three piece. Actually, it's a five piece neck. If you can't, it's kind of hard to tell, but you'll notice that you have the two pieces of is the outside mahogany, another piece of mahogany in the no, actually maple, maple, maple in the middle, and you have two little thin strips of either wengi or but bing, I can't. I think it was wingy. Um, but here's the back, because this is the other cool thing about this guitar. Um, unlike the the standard TAT or TAT, um, this actually has a, an oiled neck. So it's basically an oiled neck up to about here, and this is where the finish starts coming in. Um, you can it it that part's shiny because that actually is the finish. Um, this is this from this section onwards it's actually bare wood. Um, on these guitars, like all the standard, standard uh, comparisons, there is a slight finish on them when they come from the factory. Um, I'm not a big fan of them, of the, of the stock finishes, so I basically redo them. So they have that have my velvet neck back mod. Um, if you've never tried one of my guitars with my velvet neck back mods, just think of the hottest girl with the hottest sex of legs that you can ever think of. Picture how silky smooth her, those legs would be, and this is just as good. I mean, seriously, it is just as good. No jokes here. Um, kind of hard to focus on here, but there we go. There's another shot of the five-piece neck there. Kind of cool. I mean, it gives you that little stripe right through. Um, machine heads are once or the standard issue uh, Goto uh, height adjustable machine heads. Um, 
Nothing too fancy, JE here, just my standard right, uh, mods here. The uh, arming adjuster, brass block, and and uh, noiseless springs. Just cause, well, Marlon, you you didn't you never you didn't actually ask for, ask for the, t the noiseless springs only because back back when you ordered the guitar, I didn't have these as an option, so I'm tossing these ones in for you for free. So yeah, it's my gift to you, man. Um, also on top of that, other standard, standard mods that I have done is my usual uh, fret fret ends. So as you can probably see here, they are nicely rounded. It's kind of hard to get the focus on, but yeah, there you go. That's notice there's really nice ball ends over here, and of course the usual faux scalloped edge scalloping right there really hard to see maybe you can but there you go that's probably a little bit easier to see right there you can see just in the binding there it's kind of scalloped there uh very cool uh, it's basically done right up to the 27th fret gives you that scalp feel without actually scalloping the fretboard because we honestly would not want to lose the, lose the cool clock in place um that's about it man I mean, it's a uh, definitely a nice looker i mean just check out the top on that man it Definitely, it's it's definitely PRS grade eight. Um, the finish here, because it's a trans black, it is kind of hard to see in person only because it's trans black. Uh, but then again, that's that's how all trans black guitars are, whether it's PRS or Carbon or or an Ibanez with, with some sort of trans black like finish over a maple top. You're never going to be able to see the finish too well. But here, because we have the lighting right right above, you can really see the grain. Um, it is not a thin piece either, unlike a lot of these other guys. That's actually very thick. Uh, it's kind of hard to see here, actually. But, uh, hmm. Let me lift this up, maybe. There you go. That's how thick that thing actually is. Um, that's about half the thickness right there. Um, very similar to the old um, Ibanez uh, USA Custom Exotic Woods. It's just one thick slab of uh, maple on top. Basically what it is, it get, it's... Uh, mahogany back on the maple top it's very much like like your les paul kind of setup um very it's very warm sounding um nothing too fancy about just the woods um overall this is a killer guitar um i get i get emails and calls about this guitar all the time but it's always really really expensive and you know what it is definitely worth every penny and more this is totally cool i love this feature the neck plays amazing i mean if you've always like i've always liked the tack but i've never been a fan of, the, of that sticky i've just never been a fan of pa painted next period i've always preferred a dellinger over a tat but this is definitely one of my very favorite guitars i mean uh, marlon you've already got an orbit this will take you one over i'm pretty sure you'll love this probably even more than your orbit but um yeah that's about it man i mean uh, have another look at this more close-ups of everything there's the close-up of the four-way toggle uh, four-way rotary I should say and that's about it and that's it if you have any questions just shoot me an email at info at BRL guitars and if uh, anyone else is watching this and uh, looking for one of these uh, yeah just shoot me an email as well or uh, drop by the forum at comparisonforum.com and uh, we can always talk forever and chit chat and you can ask me all the questions you want about these things um, it, if you anyone does want to order one Please do know it takes it does take about four to five months think, to get one. I think Marlon was waiting maybe six months for this guy, and you know what? It's well worth the wait. But yeah, uh, until next time, bye bye.